Hello and welcome to Josie's Jungle Room. Before we get started into all of the amazing fabulousness that's going to be in this video today, I want to invite you to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell if you want to be notified whenever I make a new video. Well, here today we're going to be doing several different tags. The first one is we are joining in Toddler Tuesday and we have little Miss Bella. Bella here is wearing an adorable little cupcake onesie. We are celebrating Toddler Tuesday. Toddler Tuesday this week was put on by the amazing Cena at Cena's Dolls and she chose the theme Sweet Treats. And what's more wonderful than a wonderful sweet cupcake? We love sweet cupcakes. And Bella wants to say hello to everyone. She loves beautiful sweet cupcakes. They are delicious. And she has a flouncy tutu skirt with glitter all over it. And her cupcakes of green and purple. I'm sorry, there's not purple on there. Oh my goodness green and blue and white cupcakes with her big fancy bow. She wanted to wear this outrageous bow with all these big unicorns on it, but she does look cute, right, you guys? She does look cute. She looks stunning. Yes, you look cute, girl, but she loves her cupcakes, so she wanted to represent for Toddler Tuesday. There are also three other beautiful ladies who do different uh, weeks of Toddler Tuesday. They take turns. We have Mandy at Mandy's Cuddle Bugs, an amazing channel. We have Renee at Renee's Reborns, another amazing channel. And Sam at Reborn Love Babies. All four wonderful, beautiful ladies who take turns for Toddler Tuesday. But this week was Cena's turns, and again, she chose sweet treats and we have beautiful Bella here representing for sweet treats. We also have this sweet little beanie. His name is Jungle Love, you guys. Jungle Love. Oh wee oh wee oh. And he is representing today because I have a lot of new um, subscribers. Thank you so much to all of my new subscribers. Thank you for all the beautiful comments you guys leave on my channel. I appreciate it so, so much. Thank you when you hit the like button. I love sharing in this community with you guys and sharing in this hobby with you guys. It just means everything. It it's, makes the hobby so much more fun, sharing in everything with everyone. And every once in a while, even sometimes from a known Dolly sis, I get asked, what's up on the jungle love tip? So I'm just going to briefly talk about why I say jungle love and why we're called Josie's jungle room and all of that. But first, I'm going to show you another sweet treat, you guys. In Cena's video, she said, what's your favorite sweet treat? And I would have to say, overall, in general, my favorite sweet treat is cookies that's right and i have cookie monster representing c is for cookie that's good enough for me this is so cute look it's got a little squeaky one in here and it's got a little squishy sound and a half bitten cookie because you know cookie can't control himself uh this might be like a peanut butter cookie but i love chocolate chip cookies that's my favorite this looks like a birthday surprise cookie but this is a fun little toy i like to hang it when i'm taking the babies out in the car seat for a road trip or something i like to hang this for them to play with and bella's gonna hold on to it but isn't this adorable a little cookie monster I love chocolate chip cookies. I love all kind of treats. I'm not even going to lie. I love peach rings too, but I couldn't find a peach ring toy, okay? They're not that easy to find, but I love those sugary peach rings with the big, oh my gosh, that all those, um, it's like just covered in sugar, that glistening, shiny sugar just all over it those are amazing but they do get stuck to your teeth now they do get stuck to your teeth but just a nice crisp little chocolate chip cookie my mom used to make the homemade chocolate chip cookies they'd be about this big you know just a nice little crunchy chocolate chip cookie that's probably my favorite treat of all if i just had to pick one but we're also going to show another 
beautiful girl. I've never shown her before on my channel. And I know in the title I did say, oops, I dolled it again. Well, I'm going to show you, oops, I dolled it again times two in this video, okay? One is a little 18-inch girl. Check her out. Isn't she beautiful? Her name is... Her name is, guys, I'm looking on here. I always get it mixed up. Arabelle. That's the name that she was given for um, by the company. She's a positively perfect doll from Target. I saw her, guys. She was on sale, and my husband was like, go ahead and get her, because I thought she was so pretty. She's actually like got a really soft cloth body under here, so she's kind of a little more cuddly 18-inch doll, but she is an 18-inch doll with a vinyl body. She's more of like a toy doll. That's what Cena would say, but I thought she was beautiful. Look at her pretty face and her pretty eyes, and she has soft, beautiful full hair. I just thought she was stunning and beautiful and I wanted to add her to my collection because I didn't have any of these. Again, the line is called Positively Perfect. I've had her for a couple months. I just hadn't shown her on my channel yet, but her name is Abrielle and she's wearing this adorable cupcake outfit. This is actually a handmade outfit. I have shown this outfit many times. So this is a case of show it to me one more time. That is put on by Penny at Lighthearted Life and Collectibles. Hey Penny, girl, I hope everything is going good with you. But this is such a cute outfit. We bought this when we were in Wisconsin Dells. Um, and this lady had a bunch of handmade 18-inch doll clothes, and I couldn't resist it, and I love to show it every time I get a chance. These are the little shoes that came on her. They're little sparkly gym shoes. I just thought they were cute, and even though, you know, they're not super fancy, I don't know. I love them. I think they're cute, and they kind of match with this outfit. And this actually is how her hair came with this bow. I just think she's adorable, though, so pretty in her little cupcake outfit. So she wanted to be in the video because sweet treat cupcakes, yes, and her outfit says too sweet. But isn't she pretty, Abrielle? So she's one of my new dolls that you guys have never seen before. She's going to sit by her sister representing for sweet treats toddler tuesday she's probably a little older than a toddler but for the purposes of this video she's going to be a toddler okay but yeah i just thought i don't know she's really pretty and i wanted to show her today to represent we have another baby who wants to show his favorite sweet treat it is Boogie. It's Boogie. He's the new monkey. Hashtag monkey, you know, whatever. He's actually an orangutan, but his name is Boogie. He wanted to say hello to everybody. And you guys are like, he's just wearing his same shirt that he wore yesterday. Yes, he is, but look at what the back says. It says going bananas. Guess what his sweet treat is? He loves bananas, y'all. He loves bananas. But he is going to show you guys. Look at this shirt. This shirt is so cute. I actually bought this shirt a couple months ago. And I was like, I am definitely going to get Bella a brother. And he's going to wear this shirt. I thought this was so cute. It's a little button-up shirt with all these adorable bananas all over it. And I was like, one day, Bella is going to get a brother. And that day was this past weekend when we got Boogie. Uh, uh. Dance, Boogie Wonderland. Yes, Boogie came to join the family in the jungle room. So we're going to go ahead and put his little banana shirt on him. He is so sweet. And I love dressing plushies too. They're really fun to dress. And he's got these big old long arms. It's going to be so easy to put his little banana shirt on him. And he's going to be so cute in his sweet treat banana shirt look at how easy he is to dress with his big old long arms and he's just velvety soft and so cute look at it it matches with his little boogie shirt he's just gonna keep it open look at how slick he looks in his little banana shirt isn't that cute he's gonna pop his collar popping collars popping collars yeah he's a slick stuff Oh, he's so cute and fun. But besides bananas, he told me he has another sweet treat. You do? Yes, Mama. 
Oh my goodness, what is it? What is it, Boogie? It's hamburgers! Boogie likes burgers! That's right! Look at this little Squishmallow burger. Isn't this fun? I love Squishmallows too, guys. Surprise, surprise. He loves burgers, but they have to have a lot of melted cheese. That's right. Look at He loves to chomp on a burger. So he loves bananas and burgers. Boogie loves bananas and burgers. You know what else goes good with bananas and burgers? Fries and shakes. Maybe that's what we should have for lunch, you guys. Burgers, fries, shakes, and cupcakes. Burgers, fries, shakes, and cupcakes. Mmm, that sounds good to me. How about you? Well, let's get into the other brand new, the biggest baby I have ever had. I am so excited to share her with you. Let me rearrange these guys and grab her. Here she is. Welcome, Babette. That's right. She is the biggest doll I have ever had. We were thrifting, my husband and I, and we were getting ready to check out. And believe it or not, I only had like $3 worth of stuff. I didn't really have that much stuff. And my husband was like, did you see that doll over there? And she was looking straight at me at the register. She was sitting in a chair, kind of hidden over in the corner. And I was like, oh my gosh, I did not see her. And I went over and I looked at her and she was beautiful. I mean, look at her. She is gorgeous. And I was like, oh man, I wonder how much she is. Guys. She was $15 and she was in her brand new outfit. This is not the outfit that she came in. And believe it or not, we're going to tie this outfit into a Toddler Tuesday theme because she is definitely a toddler. She is the biggest baby that I've had. She actually wears between a 3T and a 4T. So I don't have very many clothes for her. I had to be creative and figure out a way to make this work for Toddler Tuesday. Um, but... She was $15, and I was like, and the lady behind the register said, um, are you going to bring her home with you? I think she was a little creeped out by her because she's so real looking. And, like, and my husband was like, oh, yeah, she's definitely coming home with us. He just knew that I was definitely going to want her. He's the one who pointed her out, so he's to blame for sure. But I was like, oh my gosh, she is beautiful. She is vinyl, you guys. She is a vinyl doll. Her arms are vinyl all the way up to here. Her legs are vinyl all the way up to here. Her neck is vinyl and she has a vinyl neck plate to here. Her body is cloth under here. One day I'll um, get her undressed in front of the camera. I just wanted to show you her beauty today. She has gorgeous blonde hair. You could tell when I took her original outfit off, which is super cute actually, by the way. And um, she's from the Great American Doll Company. But she had this a really cute like sailor outfit on with a big um, sun hat and everything. And, when I, and boots and everything. And when I took her original outfit off, she still had the plastic underneath. So whoever the collector was that had this doll originally, she had never changed her clothes or anything. She was still in perfect condition. She had one little spot on her face, which came off immediately when I wiped her. She is in perfect condition, no markings. She has armatures in her arms. She moves really nice. You know, I mean, she is beautiful gorgeous i mean i love her she is so pretty and i was just like i cannot believe it because i wanted to have a big toddler girl but you guys know how expensive those toddler dolls are you know and i mean we are not poor my husband and i both work you know and we make a decent wage and everything but honestly i've been in this hobby for a year and a half i have spent so much money on this hobby and i really can't afford to spend anymore. We're trying to pay down the credit card debt that I have incurred, and I really can't be buying any more dolls, but I could afford a $15 doll, you know what I mean? And I was just like so excited to get her, and I could not wait to show you guys her. I actually 
It was on my birthday that we were shopping. We went thrifting on my birthday when I actually found her. So she's my birthday baby. She came um, home with me on my birthday. And yes, that's what we did on my birthday. In the morning, um, we ran to, I think, two thrift stores. Because <laughs> that's something I wanted to do on my birthday. And then we came home and watched... The Little Mermaid on the Disney Channel, which I loved the movie. It was so, so good. And I really wasn't feeling that good that day. Um, so we just relaxed and had some good food. My husband cooked for me and we just chilled because it was my normal day off of work anyway. But I was so excited to find this beautiful baby. Look at her. So welcome your new niece, Babs. I'm going to call her Babs. Her actual name with the doll company was Babette. So I'm going to keep her name as that because I don't have a baby with that name, but I'm going to call her Babs. She actually sits in that 100-year-old high chair at the table with us in the dining room because she's such a big doll. Like, I mean, I do move her around. She's not heavy at all. I don't, I'll look up her stats and see how much she weighs, but she probably weighs like maybe four pounds, you know. She's not a heavy doll. They didn't make dolls heavy. Well, no, she might be like six pounds. I don't know. She's not real heavy, though, but I do carry her around and move her around, but her actual place is at the table, so when we eat our meals, she's sitting there looking at us while we eat in that 100-year-old chair, because I did have Kermit in there, um, the doll that I bought to go in the chair originally, but now he has his twin sisters, Freya Fern, uh, the triplets, Freya Fern and Cordelia, a.k.a. Mopsy May. Um, and they like to be together, and all three of them obviously aren't going to fit in the high chair together, so she sits in the high chair. And Angel, the other doll that was sitting in the high chair, she sits in the rocking chair now. So everybody has a spot, you know what I mean, that they're normally at, unless I'm dressing them or changing them. And I've been changing all the babies into their Halloween outfits, and she actually has a Halloween pajama set. Um... I do want to get her an actual costume, though, because she's such a big girl. I can probably find her a really fun costume for Halloween, um, just because she is so big and so fun. I was just so excited to find this beautiful girl. I'm going to move her closer in a minute um, so you can see how beautiful her face is. She has beautiful, big, blue eyes and really long, pretty lashes. I mean, she's just in such gorgeous shape, and her hair is stunning I mean she's just got beautiful detail and like I said she has armatures in her arms and everything just a fabulously beautiful doll I feel like she kind of looks like the little girl from Jurassic Park actually if I couldn't find it took me a while to figure out what doll she was and what actual um, name she had and everything but um if I couldn't find it I was gonna name her after that the character from um, Jurassic Park the original a movie because I thought she kind of looked like that girl but her outfit today is a beautiful golden top dress oh and this is the little um necklace that came with her it has a little bear on it I just thought that was so cute so she's gonna always wear her little bear necklace and this has golden shimmery stars on this tutu flounce little um skirt I guess it's a full dress and then I got this um long sleeve with gold flex in it I didn't get these together it just so happened that I had one in my collection thank goodness and then golden sequence on the bottom here but um she is representing for toddler Tuesday her favorite treat she told me she has two okay she loves the little Debbie star crunch treats okay so these have stars on them to represent for the little Debbie Star Star Crunch Treat Cakes. Okay, so that's why they're stars. As well as there's a new treat that I just learned about today when I was surfing the internet. <laughs> it's called Milky Way Magic Stars with Popping Candy. That she absolutely loves. She ate those before she ever came to the Jungle Room because she's new to the Jungle Room. So I've never actually tried them before, but she 
Babs here said that they are amazing. The popping candy kind of pops in your mouth after you eat the chocolate. And man, she absolutely loves them. So it's called Milky Way Magic Stars with Popping Candy. So this stars on here represent for two different kinds of candy. Isn't that amazing? Little Babs here teaching me about some new candy. So yes, this is my new toddler girl. But yeah, isn't she beautiful? Now she doesn't stand. I'm sorry guys, I'm gonna bring her closer so you guys can see how pretty her face is. Look at her face and her beautiful eyes and her hair. It was just like this. I mean, I've brushed through it, but she has beautiful long hair. It's really long. Look at how long her hair is. And I just had to brush through it. I mean, it was kept really, really nice. She is the biggest doll I've ever had. I think she's like 34 inches. Really, really big doll. She has a big body. Gorgeous big body. Big doll. She looks like a big girl sitting here. And I was just like, man, I could not believe I missed her. My husband, like I said, is the one who spotted her sitting there looking at us. And he's like, do you see that doll over there, baby? And I thought that she actually was, um, sorry, uh, porcelain. And she's not. She is vinyl. So I was just beside myself and so excited that I found her. So welcome, Babs, to your new niece. She's the newest. Well, honestly, I have a couple new babies that I haven't shown you. I have my Kimberly baby that I um, ordered, the custom baby. She also came during the time when I really wasn't feeling well. So I'm going to show you guys her one day, but I'm going to do a full video just with her. She's so beautiful and, and stunning and gorgeous. I have a new Paradise Galleries doll that I haven't had an opportunity to show you guys yet. Um, I think those are the only other babies that I haven't shown you guys yet that I have in my collection. Um, but yeah, um, I do have a new plushie too that I was actually going to show you guys. I'm kind of obsessed with him too. And I know I'm really trying to cut down on the stuff that I get. But man, I could not resist this one, you guys. This one, and I know I'm much more of a cat person, but this one, this is Dollar Bill. Look at how cute he is. He looks like a real puppy, and he's so soft and fluffy. Look at how cute he is. He just balls up, and I was like, oh my goodness, he is so adorable. He is from the Yomiko Classics collection, and I couldn't resist him. So he's new to my jungle room, too. I just snuggle this little guy he is just so cute. I'm thinking about getting him a collar and getting him a little Halloween costume because, I don't know, I just love him. I know I have Portia, who is also a white kitty. She's just not as soft. She's adorable and cute, and I love her. But he's soft and cuddly, just, like, so soft. It's like petting a real puppy. So I'm going to get him a collar this weekend when we go shopping at Walmart. I'm going to get him a collar. Dollar, dollar bill, y'all. Dollar dollar bill, y'all. He's so cute. I love him. Love dollar dollar bill. And um, yeah, I'm probably gonna get him a little Halloween outfit because he's just too cute. She loves her little puppy. You know, I don't know. I'm trying to cut down on the stuff I get, but it makes me so happy when I find such a great deal it is so hard to resist you guys it is so hard to resist and he is just the cutest little thing and really when I pet him like this he feels real you know he feels like a real furry little puppy and he does he doesn't make any noise he doesn't piddle on my carpet I mean he's the perfect puppy you know what I'm saying he's the perfect little puppy so how could I resist him so welcome dollar bill y'all dollar bill y'all oh man I need help I need help okay I was also going to briefly talk to you guys about jungle love oh we oh we oh 
So, if you know me, you already know most of this, but I started off this collection. It actually started when I received a Grogu um, from my husband for Christmas, and I enjoyed dressing that Grogu so much. I had already been asking my husband about getting a monkey, and I'm going to bring all the babies back from the video from today. Um, I had already been asking my husband about getting a monkey for many years. And you're like, if you wanted a monkey, why didn't you just get a monkey? Well, part of it is because, you know, if you're married or you have a partner, you know, if you have something and your partner really just is like freaked out about it or really doesn't enjoy it or doesn't understand it, it's not that fun to have, you know. And so I wanted him to be okay with it and be on board with it. Otherwise, it, it makes it unenjoyable. That's that's the type of partner I am. I don't want to have something in my life that my partner just really is totally against. It would not be any fun for me. Like, if I had all these dolls and my partner just really hated them, it wouldn't be fun for me. Now, it would be different if I already had them and we met and I had already had the dolls, but I didn't already have them. I already had plushies. And he was already on board with the plushies. But a monkey doll is different than a monkey plushie. Like, he got me monkey dolls. He got me bears. Stuff like that. But an actual doll that I'm dressing and, you know, putting diapers on and bottles and stuff. That's different than plushies. I had a bunch of plushies already, you know. And I had Disney dolls and, like, Barbie dolls and stuff. But having an actual doll that I wanted to carry around and stuff. That was different. So anyways, he finally became on board with that. And then when I decided that I was going to do a YouTube channel, it was actually going to be more like about different collections and showing collections. And I decided to call it Jungle Room because Bella was the first doll that I got. And I'm like, well, Josie and Jungle Room goes together, right? J and J. And Bella kind of started off you know, me really getting into thinking about having a YouTube channel. I was like, Bella's going to be the star of my channel because she, you know, really got me going into the collections. And it was when COVID was happening and we weren't seeing a lot of people or going anywhere. And I'm like, this is a way to communicate with other collectors and toy people or, you know, people that are interested in fun things and collectibles, etc., etc. And then I live in Minnesota. I'm very proud of my state you know i love my state and minnesota and prince okay i'm a huge prince fan if you didn't know i collect prince things too i'm going to show a couple of my prince things my son got me this for my birthday a couple years ago this is some prince money okay i love prince my husband is very aware of my prince craziness <laughs> and um so I'm going to show you another little Prince thing. I, I have some Funko Pops. That's my favorite one. My Prince Funko Pop from his Purple Rain outfit. But, um, so we got Prince and, you know, Morris Day in the time. And they got Jungle Love. Oh, we, oh, we, oh. So it all comes from that. But Jungle Love in a friendship way, okay? In a friendship way. I am all about love. Loving one another, loving everyone, being kind to everyone, um, just sharing in whatever you have, you know, whatever capacity that you can give love and kindness, friendship, you know, that's the kind of love that I'm talking about. So that's why I always say jungle love. Um, it's all just happiness, friendship, being kind that's what I mean when I say jungle love. But it, it does come from Minnesota and Prince, Morris Day in the Time, all of that, you know, and being Josie and loving jungle love, jungle theme. I love cheetah. You know, I'm always rocking cheetah and I love jungle theme things and monkeys. I mean, I'm, I love monkeys. <laughs> And cheetahs and lions and tigers and bears. Oh, my. But you know what I'm saying. Like, it, it stems from all of that. But really, it's just all about love. There's nothing more important than love. Loving one another and just giving kindness to everyone everywhere you go. 
So I just wanted to throw that in there too in case y'all were confused, okay? In case anybody out there had any confusion. And there's one other thing I wanted to show before we go. I know this video is long, but y'all ain't got nothing else to do. I'm just kidding. Um, this I found the other day and I'm super excited about it. I do have another baby that I'm hoping around Christmas time will be coming home. I'm hoping. I'm hoping and I will be naming him after my son. I'm hoping, hoping, hoping. Um, and this will be a onesie that he's going to have, even though he's not actually made in Minnesota. But look at this. It says made in Minnesota. It's got a big purple glittery on it. It's reminding me of Prince and the Vikings. You know, the Vikings are from Minnesota as well. And look at that, a purple heart on the back. Is this not the cutest thing? I found this as well and it doesn't fit um, the other babies that are my kids namesake so well it could probably fit my cabbage patch girl that's named after my daughter we'll see we'll see but I thought this was adorable and since I'm talking about Prince and Minnesota and all of that stuff purple is our state color because it represents for Prince and the Vikings and you know we just love purple up here so I just thought I would show you guys that because I love it and I think it's so cool and I'm so excited and but yeah other than that baby I don't think I have any other babies coming um, anytime soon but I do have some new that are already present in the nursery you guys just haven't seen them yet so you will be seeing some new babies here that you haven't seen but they're just already here well, I know I've been all over the place with the video, like I always am, okay? It's nothing new. Nothing new over here. But we wanted to say we hope you guys enjoyed our little video that's all over the place. Um, I did have some new clothes in here. So I'm going to do uh, J Dolls UK New Dolly Clothes. I'm going to do Oops, I Dolled It Again. That's my hashtag. Feel free to use it if you ever get a new doll. Oops, I dolled it again. That is by Josie at Josie's Jungle Room. And then, um, let's see what else. Um, of course, Toddler Tuesday. And, uh, yeah, I guess that's it. So, we hope you have a wonderful, beautiful day. And we wanted to say thank you for being a friend. And... Jungle love to everyone. Have a fabulous rest of your day.